In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the remote point feature in Leica Captivate. This application would be used when you need to locate a point that you're unable to access with a reflector or you're unable to utilize the reflectorless measurement capabilities of the instrument. In this case, I'm locating an overhead power line. Uh, the line is moving uh, because of the wind and I'm unable to locate that reflectorlessly. So what I do is I position myself underneath the power line and the first thing I need to do is capture a distance. So I'll press distance. Once we have our distance measurement, we'll press function, go to tools, and then select measure remote point. point stored. When I do that, the point uh, where I'm standing on the ground is stored. And it tells me the difference in height from remote point to base point is five feet. That is my rod height. So what I'll do now is I'll turn reflect, I will turn my vertical angle up to the power line. So I'll do that. Once I do that, you'll notice here that my difference in height from remote point to base point has changed. And then I can press store. Point stored. And I've now captured the sag of my power, the vertical sag of my power line. Uh, to check that, we can go to our point list. So I'll select my points. Uh, the point we stored on the ground here was number seven, has a height of 835.40 and this point we stored here on our power line is has a height of 854.25. This feature can also be used to locate a horizontal offset to an object like a tree. In this case I position myself to the side of the tree and I'll press distance. Now that I have the, uh, my distance established I'll press function tools, select measure point remote stored. point, and then I will turn to the center of my tree. Now I've captured the center of my tree. I'll press store. Please note that if you use utilize this feature for a horizontal offset, that the elevation of the second point you record will not include the rod height. So we'll go to our point list, check our, our elevations. We scroll down to point number 33 and 34. Uh, point number 33 is our ground elevation at the side of the tree. Point number 34 is the center of our tree. And you'll notice that this height is different uh, based on the rod height that we used of 5 feet. So you would need to be careful using this elevation for something like a surface. And again, this is a remote point application. 